welcome back to the beer review. Uh, this is a 2008 holiday beer review. Uh, this year we've got four beers to choose from. Um, we kind of condensed it down a little bit this year uh, from last year. That way we've got more to do next year and we don't, you know, we don't run out. We can kind of keep this going. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and I'll let Luke start off with the, uh, the first uh, beer here. And so introduce this. The first beer we have off is one of uh, Michelob's new, uh, I don't know if it's their select or their specialty uh, Craft, I think craft. they're calling the craft the craft beers yeah. that they're doing now. Yeah. And they've been an excellent line of beers so far. But the first, I'm impressed. But the first beer we have to start out is with the uh, Witcher's Bourbon Cast Ale. Mm -hmm. And it's as advertised, it's advertised as being aged on uh, oak casks, mm -hmm. as well as oak on bourbon casks, yeah, yeah. on top of uh, vanilla beans. Yes. Yeah. So we should have an interesting flavor to try out here. I do like vanilla, so let's shut up. First hit you is really the vanilla bean flavor. I like that. It does. Yeah. I mean, you, just as soon as it hits your palate, you, you, you get that instant hit of vanilla. I think I'm going to have to rate this one. It's a very good beer. I have to rate it a little bit low on the drinkability scale. I have to rate it probably at about a two out of five. Two out of five. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I mean, being a big fan of vanilla. I mean, you definitely taste the, uh, the bourbon. I think that's the biggest issue that I had with it. Was this is the bourbon the taste. Like, I'm not a big sour mash friend, so. I'm also not a big bourbon bourbon guy either. Um, but being that I like the, the vanilla flavor, I'd probably give it like a, maybe a 275 to 3. Um, maybe just a little higher because I, I really like the vanilla flavor. But again, it's, it's lower because of the, the overall bourbon flavor you get from the casket, which I don't really think it's, is, is, a, is a holiday or a... a well, I, I think that it's fine. I, I, I do feel that it is something special. It is something it special. Is very, it's an interesting blend to have the bourbon with the vanilla. It and is. I think it's yeah. a very, it's very, it's very well crafted. They have spent their time on this. It's a very good, very smooth beer. It's not and bad the flavors at all. go well together. Like yeah. I said, like I said, initially the vanilla bean flavor hits you first. Yeah. But the thing, like I said, that I personally don't like is that you get the bourbon in there. It sort of is an aftertaste after you get it down. Like I said, I'm not a big bourbon fan. If you like bourbon, then you'll love this. This is a really good beer. Well, and, and for the simple fact that you go and you buy a six pack of it, are you going to be able to drink all six? Yeah. And that's, that's why I rate the drink, drinkability a little bit lower, is because I could have I could have and enjoy probably just one of these. Maybe for me two to three, maybe two to three of them. Um, I'm not gonna probably say three max. Not like again, not that it's bad, but just the the bourbon flavor kind of throws me off, and it's something I can enjoy. Like okay, that's not bad, but I wouldn't want to drink a lot of. So yeah. next up we have uh, Lanning Kugel's Fireside Nut Brown. Fiery nuts. <laughs> I've got some fire notes. Yeah, I got some from my last girlfriend. Let's not go for this. Right. Smells nutty. <laughs> and tastes nutty. Yeah, it does. It's very nutty. <laughs> But it's it's once again it's it's pretty good. I like uh, it's got a nice sweet initial taste to it, and where the nut flavor comes in. I think that these is a this is a pretty light beer. It's fairly easy to drink. I think on the drinkability scale, I give it about a three five. I can sit down with a six pack of these at night, next to the fire slide, and enjoy it. I'm probably gonna go with like a two on this. A two. <laughs> it's. It's not that it's bad. I, I definitely like the, the the nut flavor of it, but it's um something. It's like a like a nutty coffee. It, it's it's, well, it's, it's like a sweet nutty like with a, like a bad creamer almost. You know? See, I don't think so. I think maybe I, like a I like, like a three point one or Kugel, something. and Kugel beers have a nice. They're they're an easy drinking beer. They like oh. to go for a little a little more mellow beer, a little smoother, and always a little sweeter. They have the sunset wheat's a very sweet beer. The very wise. The very wise. <laughs> well, just is, sweet as all get out. Wine, yeah. wine cooler with beer in it, you know, just a sprinkle. Uh, but uh, a chick who can't drink beer could drink the very wise. I mean, and, it, yeah. it's tasty, but it's, with its consequences. Yeah, yeah. Like I said this is interesting though because it's got the sweet. It's got a really sweet start, and you get the nut flavor in there, and it finishes really smooth. 
but we've been talking about this a little bit. It almost reminds us, it has this slight hint of almost a root beer quality to it. Because you yeah. have that little sweet with the yeah. nut. There's something in there that just kind of kind of just screams, hey, if this was root beer and actually beer, this is what it would taste like. Yeah, it, it's like, well, more like a, a nutty root beer. It, it's, it's like they, 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 a nutty, they roasted some a, nuts and they cut like a nutty this. alcoholic root beer. A nutty alcoholic root beer. I, I think that's what throws me off. Dear it's, Lord, it's, I'm taking this one off. Well, it, uh, and that's what's throwing me off. It's, it's a little sweet. It, it's, it's not bad, but it's, it's more sweet than I expect a beer to be. Really. Yeah, well, like I said, that's kind of what in the line of Google line. So, anyway, we'll go ahead and move on to so don't debate all night. <laughs> what do we have up next, Ryan? Uh, we're going to take sir. our we're going to take our Guinness glasses and slide them aside for the moment. And um, we've got some special holiday glasses here. Um, you can see that it's uh, the um, Great Lakes Brewery Company Christmas Sale Special Edition glass made for um, Winking Lizard. Uh, they have like a beer of the month they do, and then with every beer of the month they have glass, and this is happens to be glass for December. And next up we have the Great <coughs> Lakes Brewery Company Christmas Sale. Yeah. Uh, Excuse me, that was explosive. <laughs> so, we're going to use a special glass for the special beer. So, we'll taste here. Yep. Thank you. Mm. As always, Great Lakes. It smells lovely. You are a cold beer. Oh, deliciously. Wow, that is really good. I have to say, of all the Christmas sales that are out, this one is probably my personal favorite. Well, this is the first year I've actually had it. It um, has a bit of circulated uh, in previous years as it has this year. I Honestly, yeah. last year, I don't even remember seeing it. Yeah, I had it um, up in Cleveland last year. I remember this is where the brewery is from, obviously, Great Lakes. You went to the brewery and actually, yeah, had, had it there last yeah. year. Yeah. And it's very good. The problem is, like I said, it's uh, it's one of their specialty beers, so they make it seasonally. And a lot of their more specialty beers, kind of like their Nosferatu, is a lot harder to get because they kind of just ship it locally. But That's this really year, they've been doing a big campaign, and they've got the Nosferatu in more places. I've noticed that, And yeah. this year, they've also got the uh, Christmas ale. Which, which is good because, I mean, the Nosferatu has been like the, the golden ticket of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Like I've, <laughs> I've been looking everywhere for it, and I'm like, I've got the golden ticket, it's Nosferatu, you know, it's like, I finally found it, I finally found it, Grandpa, Grandpa, you know, I go home and start doing a little jig, and, um, Grandpa gets yeah. drunk and passes out yeah. by the fireside, yeah. he's like, it's like, about damn time, boy, <laughs> give that to me, no, no, yeah, no, no, drinks no, no. all the beer, he's like, yo, bastard, I looked for that for two years, God, son, you son of a bitch, which, which, you know, we're, we're, we're in Columbus, Ohio, so Cleveland's not that far away, I mean, I could technically drive up there if I wanted to find it, but it's like, Oh. Uh, you know, do I want to drive all the way there yeah. just Willy to find Wonka it? Willy Wonka does kind of have that kind of creepy molester look to it, so you don't want the golden ticket that bad. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a 4 or 5, I think, on drinkability. I just love the way everything works with this beer. They have spent a lot of time on a this. A 4 or 5 or a 4? A 4.5. 4.5? 